My name is Mary Slaughter, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an XPS file. I have a document open that happens to be a syllabus for microcomputer applications, a course I teach, and I want to create an XPS file of it. It's, it's written in Word. The way I do that is I click on File. which this is what we refer to as a backstage view in Microsoft Office. I go down and I select print. Underneath printer, if I click the down arrow, I have a list of printers. Your printers, if you try to do this, will not look like mine because it's whatever you have installed on your computer, but you should have a Microsoft XPS document writer. You need to select that. After selecting that, I can print this whole document or I could select certain pages. I'm just going to go in and select certain pages. I'm going to scan down here to the very end of the syllabus and all I want to print is just the lesson plan. I have a lesson plan at the end, which is just two pages. So, and when I say print, I mean when we print it to the doc, Microsoft XPS document writer, what we're really doing is we're creating a file. So it's like we're printing to a file so then we can just uh, send it to somebody. And so if you, on an XPS um, file, no one can edit it. So I'm going to click on print after I type in the pages I want. I typed in the pages right here. You see that page 10 and 11. I'm going to click on print. It turns into a save operation. I'm going to navigate over to where I want to save this. And I am going to go down and save it in a folder that I've named videos. And I'm going to name it um, CGS 1100 Lesson Plan Sample for Video on XPS files. So I'll know I used it for, for that. So I'm going to click on Save. And that's all I have to do to create an XPS file. I'm going to click on the little uh, folder button here at the bottom. I'm going to go over just so I can show you that it is saved to my Google Drive. I'm going to go down to my video folder and there it is. I can open this up and it's showing me, it opens it up as a, like a PDF file. Here it is. I can take this, I can uh, fax it to someone, I can uh, email it to someone, but whatever, I can't go in here and edit this file. So. The purpose of actually being able to create an XPS file is to be able to send it to someone, send just certain parts of a document to somebody. Like I'd, I, I, if I'd have just saved it and sent the whole thing, I would have ended up sending a whole Word document. If someone gets that whole Word document and they open it up, they can edit it and then they could forward it on to somebody and say, hey, look what this person wrote. Well, if I send somebody this file, they can't go in here and edit it. They could forward it on to somebody, but they can't go in and manipulate it and say, look what this person wrote with, without some problems. They could, they could do it, but it would take some problems. This is the end of this presentation.